Hello, Trailman. My name is Jim Ramey, and I'm committee chair for Ohio Troop 0016, and I'm also the high venture chairman for the North Central Region. I want to welcome you to the first of a series of the Polar Vortex, where we're going to teach you how to take care of yourself in the cold weather. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, teaches us to put on the full armor of God to protect us from evil. But what I'm going to do is try to teach you how to put on the armor to protect you from the cold so that you can go out and enjoy God's creation even in the wintertime. First thing we want to start out with is our feet. We need to keep our feet warm. We need to keep it protected. You cannot go out in sneakers and camp in the weather uh, that is coming up here in the wintertime. You want to make sure you've got a decent leather boot, something similar to this, preferably insulated. And waterproof. Now, if you can't afford the waterproof style, they do make waterproofing you can put on regular leather boots. Uh, snow seal is about the best thing I've ever seen to, uh, that I have used. It's actually like a wax, it has beeswax on it, and you melt it down into the leather, and it will definitely waterproof your boot. You got to keep yourself dry. If you stay dry, you have a much better chance of staying warm. Remember that because I'm re re repeating that during this presentation. The next thing you want to do, I wear wool socks. Now wool has properties that even if it gets wet, they'll keep your feet warm and it'll keep your body warm. Now a lot of people do not like wool because it's real itchy and scratchy. Well, these wool socks are good and thick, and yes, they do have a, an itchy type of wool on it, but they do make, have a wool Called merino wool, and it's a softer wool, and it makes it has the same properties as regular wool. It's just it's softer to the touch. It has uh, the ability to keep your feet warm even when it gets wet, and they make all types of clothing out of this. You backpackers may be interested to know that they do make T-shirts and long underwear made out of uh, merino wool. The best part about merino wool. It naturally has an odor fighter in it that where even if you perspire, it will not uh, absorb that odor and you can wear it for a week at a time without it uh, causing any odor. So a merino wool. These uh, wool socks are relatively uh, inexpensive and uh, you know I would carry two or three with me all the time. That way if you get a pair wet, you can switch them out and keep your feet dry. And uh, they do keep your feet very, very warm. They're very comfortable. At night, when I turn in, I've got these boot liners that I use. And I slip these on and I uh, sleep with these. And they keep my feet good and warm in the wintertime. There's nothing worse than cold feet when you're trying to go to sleep. So, you know, these old liners do a good job of uh, protecting your feet and keeping them warm. The next thing you want to take care of is your head. You lose a lot of heat through your head. A good knit cap is a good way to uh, keep the heat into your head. And also will pull down around your ears, keep your ears warm. And if you wear something with a hood on it, that thing just adds more protection. These are also good for when you turn in and go to sleep because you can pull this on your head so you don't cover your head up. If you cover your head up, you're gonna breathe inside of your sleeping bag and the vapor from your breath will collect inside your sleeping bag and you're going to get wet. Remember what I say, if you stay dry, you've got a much better chance of staying warm. So protect your head with a sock hat or a hooded sweatshirt when you're sleeping. That way you won't cover up and get moisture inside your sleeping bag. Your hands. If my hands and feet get cold, I'm done. All right. So you want to make sure that you uh, protect your hands. The best thing to use are mittens because what mittens do you have your four fingers in one chamber, and all the heat is in that one chamber and keeps all your fingers warm. Most of us don't wear mittens, but it's, you, they do have Thinsulate type gloves that you can wear that uh, protect you. So either ski gloves or work gloves that have the Thinsulate insulation are good. I would avoid brown jersey gloves. They're made out of cotton. If they get wet, you're going to get cold. They're good when they're dry. But um, unfortunately, if you're out in the snow, they're going to get wet, so try to avoid these. They're a good thing to sleep in. They're going to be dry when you get your sleeping bag, but 
but as far as being outside and activities, you need a good pair of escalated gloves. All right, so that takes care of your feet, your head, and your hands. Now, what you need to do is take care of your trunk or your torso and keep the core temperature up in your body to eliminate getting hypothermia. Now, I can put on this heavy down coat. Now, this is full of deuce gown. It will definitely keep me warm, but if I get too warm, I'll start to sweat. If I start to sweat, that's moisture. If I get wet, I'm going to get chilled if I take this off. So, what we're going to teach you to do is to dress in layers. That way, you can regulate the heat as you go and put on or take off more, you know, whatever, you, whatever your activities are and uh, keep your body regulated. The first thing you want to start out with is a good base layer. Now this is a wicking type t-shirt and most of us have got a wicking type trail life t-shirt. These are good because they do take the uh, vapor away from your body and that keeps your skin dry. And if you stay dry, you've got a much better chance of staying warm. That's your first layer. Now they do make long underwear out of that same material. And that way you can have your legs covered and have your torso covered also with a wick type material. Avoid cotton. Cotton does not have any properties to keep you warm if it gets wet. And you will get cold. I know a lot of people wear the, uh, the uh, quilted type cotton long underwear. But if it gets wet, it's not going to do you any good. So get a good synthetic type. Now they do have uh, merino wool. They make t-shirts and long underwear out of. It's lightweight. And it does protect you even if it gets wet. It's a little pricey, but it's a good material. Okay. For another layer, a wool shirt. Now, we're not out there to make a fashion statement. I went to the thrift store, got this wool shirt for 50 cents. So even if it doesn't match anything else you wear, your objective is to stay warm. So if you can get clothing like this at the thrift store just for camping for a little or no money, then it's a, a good bargain. Uh, this is a wool shirt that I've had for years, and like I said, I paid 50 cents for it, and it does an excellent job. Another item you can use is a vest. This is a fleece vest. This is good for keeping your trunk warm. And it also, it loosens up your arms. If you are doing uh, strenuous things outside, you don't have, you're not all bundled up and uh, restricting your arm movement. So a vest is a good thing to keep your chest and your back warm. And that's a good layer to put over top of all this. What we're doing, we're layering up. And what you're doing, you're trapping air in between these uh, layers and it's just like the insulation in a house. That keeps the uh, barrier to keep the warm air in and keep the cold air out. The more layers you have, the better chance you do to keep your temperature in toward your body. A fleece pullover can go over top of all that. Now we're protecting our legs. How are we going to do that? Well, if you don't have an insulated pair of pants, the next best thing and it's also actually a windbreak, is something you've already got in your backpack. And it's something you've got with you year round. And that's your rain suit. You've got your jacket, it's got a hood on it. It's a good windbreak. If you put all these layers underneath of this, then you're bundled up pretty good. If you start getting too warm, you take a couple of these layers off, put the rain jacket back on to protect you from the wind, and you can regulate your body heat. Rain pants do the same thing. Now, most of us, unfortunately, are going to go out in blue jeans, all right? This made out of cotton. If they get wet, you're going to get cold. But if you can keep them dry, you've got long underwear on underneath those, and put these over top, then you're protected pretty well in any type of temperature. So that's what you want to do. You want to make sure you layer up, protect yourself, keep yourself as dry as possible, and regulate your body heat. Stay hydrated. You can dehydrate in the wintertime just as fast as you can in the summertime. And your body needs that fluids to keep operating properly. Eat high calorie food to generate enough energy to keep your body warm. Follow these tips. Use good common sense. Stay dry as possible. And you're going to enjoy the outdoors winter and summer.
see you at the Yukon Adventure.